<laughs> when we started, when we started the, uh, the intro, I talked about the uh, size of the adult industry. I think the number that I gave, George, was 14 billion. And then jokingly, sort of, I asked uh, Morris what that meant to him. He said, I need to cut back on my porn. But I made the statement that it means a lot of church folks are watching porno. Now, Lexington, you don't get to $14 billion without millions of people who are involved in the church at some point watching that. What do you have to say about that and the whole judgment mentality? Well, first of all, I think adult videos, people may not know, is more an international thing than ever before. I mean, not only are we, you know, producing movies here in the United States, but it's a lot of porno is being produced um, internationally. So when you look at the 100% the viewership out there, you're going to get those type of numbers. Uh, adult video makes more money than uh, major motion picture. Um, uh, um, we athletic, talked about sports. Pro sports mm -hmm. combined. So we're doing something, and uh, it's a product that people enjoy. We had Lexington on the show, George. I, I thank God you were not on that show when we had him on. And uh, we were talking to you, and I, I can't remember who else was on with us. That was my um, ex. We'll leave it yeah. at that. Yeah, she was, was, she was great, though. And yeah, yeah. what was the response when you were on the show? Because a lot of folks were very judgmental, but toward the end of the show, they started opening up a little bit. Well, I think it was one of the first signs that people got a chance to hear directly from adult performers. And what they'll find is that the people that do movies are not too much unlike everybody else. It is a job. I go to work like everybody else. She would go to work like everybody else. We come home, how was your day? How was your day? It was great. I had a hard Get day. Get out of here. Uh, you had a hard day. day. Yeah. <laughs> Man, my day was so hard. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nikki, as a woman, is there any difference in terms of the way the reaction is for, for men? Is there a double standard in terms of people's acceptance? Um, actually, there is one slightly. When it comes to women, we get a lot of you know, little looks at us. Mm -hmm. How can you be doing the other men? What does your husband think about it? Or what does your mm -hmm. boyfriend think about it? When it comes to men, a lot of times it's like, wow, you get to do all the what do women. They, I want to know what oh, do they think about it. Job. Tell me what they think about it. If you're in a relationship, every man wants to know this. If a woman is in the business and she has a husband or a boyfriend, what is he thinking? The first thing that comes into mind is, first of all, are you going to be the same way when you come home? Are you going to be excited and energized mm -hmm. when you get home? And of course you are, just because you're doing this, like you said, it's a job. When you get home, actually, I'm more into my man when I get home than I would be on a set. Because really? you don't get to experience all the emotions that you normally would, the touching, the sensuality that you would when you're at home. No, you're stimulating me. Hold on a second. Doc, look at Dr. Hagen. <laughs> you Dr. Know, Hagen, you know, you're, hey, listen. <laughs> you're, Pastor Hagen, how did you get so close? <laughs> <laughs> He started you, you follow what I'm saying? When we you, started, you, you, you I was over here somewhere. Now he's over here. Now. 